Hi guys, welcome to another wonderful section of learning with Preplus. It's good to have you back. So today we are going to continue solving from Hugo Sugo Mathematics Past Question. And in today's video, we are going to be solving questions 31 to 35. In our previous videos, we've solved questions 1 to 30. So please check and watch the videos so as to get how each question was solved. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get access to all our videos. Also, remember to put on the notification so as to get notified whenever we put up videos on our platform. So, we are going to solve questions as usual. Now, let's start to solve today's questions. Question number 31. If P multiplied by Q equals PQ, P equals 4, comma, PQ equals 68. Find the value of P. We have the options. A, 12. B, 14. C, 18. D, 21. And E, 17. From this question, we have to find the value of Q. Given that P multiplied by Q is equals to PQ, now, we have the value of P to be 4. We need to find the value of Q. How do we solve this? Very easy. Now, from the question, we have the P equals 4 and PQ equals 68. So this means that from this equation, P multiplied by Q equals PQ. We can use that from PQ equals 68, then P multiplied by Q equals 68. Now, what is the value of P? P equals 4. So therefore, 4 multiplied by Q will give us 68. Divide both sides by 4 so as to get the value of Q. Now, if you do that, we are going to be having 4 times Q divided by 4, which is equals to 68 divided by 4. Now, 4 can cancel 4 here and Q will be left alone, which is equals to how many 4 can we see in 68? We can start by saying 2 in 4, that is giving us 2. 2 in 68, that is giving us 34. Now, we can divide further. 2 in 2, that is 1. And 2 in 34, that is 17. So now we are left with Q equals 17. Very easy? Yeah, it's actually easy. All you just need is understand that PQ is the same thing as saying P multiplied by Q. Now you have the value for PQ and you have the value for P. So you have to find the value of Q, which we just did, and it's very easy. You can try that on your own again and make sure you get the same answer. Now the correct option is option E, 17. Now, we move to the next question. Question number 32. At a football match between ACB of Lagos and Rangers International of Enugu, there were 2,500 spectators. We write the figures in Roman numerals. A. DCC B. CD C. NXIV D. MMD, then E, X, X, V. So from this question, we are expected to convert 2,500 into Roman numerals. To do this, you must know the symbol of Roman numerals. In Roman numerals, M equals 1,000, D equals 500, C equals 100, L equals 50, X equals 10, V equals 5, and I equals 1. Now, we need to express 2,500 in terms of any of these symbols. Good. 2,500 equals, if we break down 2,500 in terms of these figures we have here, we will say, we will say 2,500 equals 1,000 plus 1,000, that is 2,000. Then plus 500, that is 2,500. 
Now, changing these figures into the Roman representation, we have 1000 to be M, 1000 to be M, 500 to be D. So this means that when we combine M, M, D, we are going to get M, M, D. So that means the correct option is option D, M, M, D, to be the Roman room numeral, to be the Roman numeral for 2,500. The next question, question number 33. Look at the following numbers. 11, 19, 3, 9, 2. Which of them is not a prime number? A, 9, B, 11, C, 3, D, 2, E, 19. Now we have been given some set of numbers and we have to find which one of them is not a prime number. Now the question you should ask yourself before you get this answer is what is prime number? A prime number is a number that is divisible by one and itself only. That is the definition of prime numbers. A prime number is a number that is divisible by one and itself only. So looking at the numbers here, 11, 11 is divisible by 1, 11 is divisible by 11. There is no any other number that can divide 11 without a remainder. So this means that 11 is a prime number. 19 is also a prime number because there is no other number aside 1 and 19 that can divide 19 without a remainder. 3 is also a prime number. 3 can divide 3. 1 can also divide 3. So this means that 3 is a prime number. 9 here can be divided by 1. It can be divided by itself, which is 9. And it can also be divided by another number, which is 3. So looking at that factor, it means 9 is not a prime number. The last number 2 is a prime number. So from this set of numbers, number 9 is not a prime numbers. So with the definition of prime numbers, it will be easy for you to identify the number that is not a prime number. So the correct option is option A, 9. So the next question here is question number 34. There are 500 pupils in St. Andrew's School, Apapa. If there are 1,500 pupils, at St. Christopher School, Sulere. Find the ratio of pupils in St. Andrew's School to those at St. Christopher School. Remember, ratio means fractions. Ratios can also be expressed as fractions. We have the options A, 1 ratio 2, B, 1 ratio 5, C, 2 ratio 3, D, 1 ratio 3, E, 4 ratio 5. From the question, Number of pupils in St. Andrew's School is 500. The number of pupils in St. Christopher's School is 1,500. We have to find the ratio of the pupils in St. Andrew's School to those at St. Christopher's School. Now, like we said, ratio is the same as fraction. So, St. Andrew ratio St. Christopher will be equal to 500, which is the number of pupils in St. Andrew. Ratio 1500, which is the number of pupils in St. Christopher. So, what do we do here? Since ratio means fraction, it means we can divide. Can 500 go in 1500? Yes. How many 500 can we see in 500? That is 1. How many 500 can we see in 1500? That is 3. So, we are left with 1 ratio 3. Because we can no longer divide, it means our answer is 1 ratio 3. And the correct option is option D, 1 ratio 3. The question just requires us to find ratio. And you should know that ratio also means fraction. So, we move to the last question. Mr. Ugosugo started a publishing company with an initial capital of 30,000 Naira. And in 1989, his working capital stood at 50,000 Naira. Find the percentage increase. A. 66.6%. B. 
33 whole number, 1 over 3 percent. C, 50 percent. D, 40 percent. E, 25 percent. From the question, we have that Mr. Ugosigo started a publishing company with an initial capital of 30,000 Naira. And in 1989, his work capital stood at 50,000 Naira. So that means there is an increase. So the first thing is to find the increase before we can get the percentage increase. Now, increase equals the new capital minus the initial capital. That is 50,000 minus 30,000, which gives a 20,000 error increase. Now, the percentage increase. Now, to get the percentage increase, we'll say percentage increase equals the increase divided by the starting capital multiplied by 100%. Now, the increase is 20,000 divided by the starting capital, which is 30,000 error, times 100%. Now, when we cancel out zeros here, we'll be having 2 multiplied by 100, that is 200, divided by 3. Now, how many 3 can we see in 200? That is 66.6. .6. Perform your division and make sure you get your result to be 66.6. .6. Percent, and that is the correct answer. And option A is the correct option 66.6 percent. .6%. I hope learning with us today was very easy. Please, if you have any question you would like to ask, always put it down in the comment section. And your rest, and we are surely going to get back to you and answer your question. Remember, our aim is to see you learn more. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you pull down your comment about how you feel on this video. If you have any question, kindly put it down in the comment section and we are going to get back to you. So thank you very much for learning with Prep Class. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.